where we are doing we are advancing artificial intelligence for business conversations. Conversational AI evolved from Usenet to Yahoo directories to simple search to more advanced search uh, to where we are today. For example, at Conversica, our intelligent assistant li listens to more than 30 CRMs. And for example, when a lead downloads a white paper, our natural language generation system automatically, dynamically generates a message, in this case, sent over email. And when the lead responds, in this case in English, our natural language understanding engine process it, processes the response using computational linguistics, machine learning, and deep learning algorithms, such as support vector machines, random forests, and CNN for intent classification, and for CRF and bidirectional LSTM for entity extraction. These intents and entities are passed to our AI inference engine. The inference engine decides what actions to take based on the intents and entities. And these are passed to our natural language generation system again, which generates the next set of conversations dynamically. As you can see, this is not a single turn conversation. This is a multi-turn conversation. It, it, it happens again and again and oh, multiple times. And we also added uh, additional communication gateways. This, for example, shows how we start over email and when the lead expresses interest in talking over SMS, we switch to SMS. Over here, we show how we start in English, and when the lead wants to talk in Spanish, we switch to Spanish. Essentially, there are four kinds of NLP we use at Conversica. We use rule-based approaches, which are known to have high precision and low recall, and we use them primarily for entity extract extraction of very simple entities that can be extracted using regular expressions like email addresses. And we use traditional machine learning for a major part where we have limited training data at the beginning of our growth. And we currently use deep learning because we now have over 1,200 com companies and millions of conversations across our cycle. Um, in addition, we also are using ensemble approaches that combine all these things. So rule-based approaches for very simple um, entities and intents and traditional machine learning combined with rule-based uh, rule approaches for uh, pre-processing, post-processing, additional feature extraction, and deep learning because we have a lot of unlabeled data and, uh, and a lot of uh, labeled data because we also have this uh, human training disk and ensemble to get the best of every, everything. And we, there are three roles of NLP plays in AI assistance and, 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 and Conversica too. First, it turns raw big data uh, present through CRMs or unstructured text to knowledge using re information retrieval to get the relevant documents and then information extraction uh, to get relevant uh, pieces of entities to convert unstructured information to structured data. And we understand natural language inputs at a more response level, uh, what are the intents and entities present in the response, and we generate outputs using knowledge summarization or question answering or natural language generation. There are four intelligences for conversational AI as we see it. Natural language processing to read, classify, and understand responses. Inference engine to turn responses into customer requested actions and natural language generation to create those beautiful messages and not to discount human intelligence. We, our AI is prompt, persistent, personalized, and, at, and pro, our performance is equal to humans. We showed that using our AI-driven approach, we were able to set 30% more appointments than those that involve only human teams. Uh, I'll pass over the, the remaining demo to Alda, who will uh, show a live conversation. Thank you, Sid. What I'm going to show you is an actual conversation from our Conversica instance. This is not a demo environment. The example that you see here is Rachel reaching out to Jeremy. Rachel understands where that prospect is coming from. She refers to it and then asks if you want more information. Rachel's entire purpose in life is to drive that prospect to a human conversation with a sales rep. Now, as Rachel reaches out, she continues to reach out via email, and each email dynamically changes. Rachel is smart enough to write her own emails. Are, these are not templates. She will dynamically change the subject line, the body, as well as the questions that she asks, just like a human. Rachel is able to interpret intent, 
sentiment and key words and terms. And one good example of that is this lead at risk. Now what makes this lead at risk is not the questions that the lead, that the prospect asked. It's actually the phrase, I'm waiting for some answers. Rachel is able to understand this and knows that this statement supersedes all other questions and therefore marks the lead at risk, making sure that the sales rep is notified and that somebody needs to get back to, in this case, Andy right away. I know this is just a start of what our AI can do, so if anybody has any questions after, I'd be happy to show you additional conversations. Thank you.